What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 streamers who got arrested or the cops called on them live on stream. Now I'm super excited to announce that starting now every couple videos per week will have a secret Amazon code hidden throughout it. It'll be for like a split second so make sure to watch the video closely and to the end as you may get a chance to find it and get it for free. With that said, let me know if you'd like to continue seeing this by leaving a like on the video. If we could smash 5,000 likes today, that'd be absolutely epic, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 5. Caleb Hart 42 To start this crazy story off, Caleb Hart 42 technically wasn't actually arrested, but the police did show up to his house ready to take whatever action was needed. The gamer had been streaming for about 2 hours when his mom came in to ask if he called the cops. Apparently, they received a threatening call from him and had the house surrounded. Caleb had no idea what was going on and it soon became pretty obvious that he'd been set up. The person who made the call had pretended to be Caleb, saying that he had his family tied up and was getting ready to kill them. Now of course he was just sitting at his computer though, so obviously it wasn't him. Now no serious harm was done, but the video has plenty of awkward moments, from Caleb having to explain what Twitch was to the police, to his mom trying to explain streaming over the phone. In the end, the guy was tracked down and Caleb didn't get arrested, but it was still a really close call. Do, do you, this stream, the message that you get? Well, is, this this is the chat right here. What, and, what is that? Um, what? Well, this is basically like, this is pretty this much Twitch TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard. Okay, of hold on. I just, hold on, hold on, hold on. Twitch, Twitch TV. Um. What is this Twitch? T W I T C H dot TV. Wait, hold on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I just got a, I just got a link. I mean, he's, he's got a choice. I mean, he's got a lot of Number 4. Random Rambo The controversy around Random Rambo's arrest made waves in 2015, and it wasn't until last year that the truth actually came out. It all started in one of his streams, when his desktop showed a really suspicious file that seemed to be child pornography. Basically, it led a lot of viewers to report him to the police. He then went on holiday with his wife and kid, which many people took to mean he was definitely guilty, so the number of people reporting him increased even more. Finally, the police showed up while he was streaming and took all of his computers before arresting him for possession of child pornography. However, even the police admitted that while they had to check everything, the file that started all the drama definitely wasn't what everyone was saying. It even came out that many people had been spreading even more untrue rumors to the police. Everything came back clean, but his career and reputation definitely took a hit. It just goes to show how quickly a rumor could ruin someone's life. Honestly, I feel super bad for the guy, but I'm glad in the end the truth came out and he redeemed himself. I stream. I'm fairly popular on Twitch, uh, a picture was shared somewhere with my stream, my face, and a very badly named file, suggesting child pornography. Um, yeah, people weren't happy about that, I suppose, um, I understand why. So uh, yeah, but when it surfaced, I of course, as, as any innocent person would, I went on stream expecting that nobody could believe that because the file clearly looked like bullshit and uh, that was the typical clickbait thing but but, but apparently uh, yeah people believed that it was child pornography and i got a shitstorm of another world people on people i never heard about tried to take me down uh, twitch channels youtubers you name it everybody tried to 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 not so much like when Number 3. Koopa Troopa 787 Streamers have been familiar with the swatting trend for a while now, so when it happens they basically know how to respond. But that doesn't mean everyone else does though. When streamer and army veteran Koopa Troopa 787 was targeted, it was his 10 year old brother that answered the door. He was faced with a 10 member SWAT team that was all holding assault rifles. The police were initially very forceful with Joshua, but they switched gears when he mentioned Twitch. I'm assuming they linked it back to similar calls that they've had to deal with. Even so, his little brother was terrified and could have been shot. What's even crazier is a second swatting was attempted just after when someone called to say the visit had left him suicidal. A famous swatter was arrested the same day for repeated prank calls and threatening to hack the banking and social security information of his targets. He's actually still in prison to this day. Now was it the same guy? I'm not exactly sure. So let it be with me, but do not involve my family in any way shape or form with this. They don't deserve that. He's 10. 
If he is 10 years old, then he had 10. Number two, Creatures Kutra. 2014 must have been a big year for trying to get people arrested, as in the same year Caleb42 was targeted, Kutra had a SWAT team called on him as well. Someone decided to target the Creature House while he was streaming, and he realized fairly quickly, even telling the stream that he's probably being swatted. At first, it seems funny, but when the guys barge in with their guns, Kutra is forced to take things a little bit more seriously. He even got threatened by the officers for laughing. That's when they handcuff him and start questioning him about the house, asking what the other people look like and if there are any weapons being kept there. It keeps his cool, but the officers are pretty heavy handed and get even more aggressive when they found out they're being filmed. One officer grabs the webcam and turns it over, so it's hard to know what happens next. But they definitely arrest him and take him in for further questioning. I mean, it just goes to show that swatting can have some serious consequences and goes above and beyond normal trolling. Here's our honorable mention. This video by the streamer Trick2G is actually fake, where it shows him getting supposedly swatted and him fighting back. Basically, a SWAT team bursts in on Trick2G while he's filming, but instead of deciding to come quietly, he does his best to fight back. He backs away from them when they go to subdue him, and even takes a swing at one of the officers, but they still manage to gain the upper hand and get him to the floor. Now this was exposed to be fake, and I think Trick2G was banned off Twitch for faking this, but either way, this is insanely inconsiderate to people who have actually been swatted. Number 1. Jess Getting swatted is scary all by itself, but it's gotta be even worse when you're a girl and you're all alone in your house. Jess was streaming Black Ops 2 when a knock at the door caused her to take her headphones off and she walks out of the shot to investigate. You can't see what's going on, but there's a lot of really aggressive knocks, almost as if she's nervous about letting them in. Her fear is justified to be honest, as once the police enter they immediately get her on the ground while they clear the rooms. They're all shouting and being really intense, and once again they freak out and turn off the stream as soon as they realize it's recording. We're not sure if the people behind the call were ever caught, but either way, it's a really stupid thing to do, and probably completely ruined her day. I seriously hope the guy who did this got caught, as you could serve years in jail for pulling such a stupid stunt, and boy do they deserve it. said they're streaming it, is what she was telling Jack. It was yeah. a joke. But no, she's... And they're watching us. Jack says, yeah, you're trying to call me. So freaking, everybody's yeah, watching us. They're talking about it. She, that's what she was telling Jack. She said it's a joke. They're streaming y'all and watching y'all. Where the fuck did it come from? And there's our video on the top five Twitch streamers who got arrested live on stream. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever I upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to Zerk Shimmy Handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.